today from Los Angeles, California. This is the National Football League. Justin Herbert and the Los Angeles Chargers versus Gardner Minshew and the Las Vegas Raiders. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the L.A. Chargers. Here's the former Auburn kicker, Daniel Carlson, to get this one started. And we are underway in Southern California. And able to get this out to the 25. Let's go, let's go. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And it certainly hadn't taken Herbert long to earn his status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. Locked and loaded at every snap. And the second he sees an opening, that ball is soaring downfield. You better be on your toes against him on defense. The second you turn your head, he'll burn you. trouble but it's incomplete the rookie had it and lost it and it'll be second down that certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down second and short I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion First carry now for Isaiah Spiller. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, Herbert. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there of finding him in stride for really good yardage. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Max Crosby, the one who got in there for the stop. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, 
They want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Here's third and three. Here's Herbert. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Raider drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by Gardner Minshew, six-round selection in 2019 out of Washington State. And how about this young man? Took the NFL world by storm as a six-round rookie, signature mullet, mustache, but 21 touchdowns for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Great personality, and everyone gravitates towards this guy. Teammates love to win with a quarterback who leads them like that, and fans love to root for a guy who seems just like them. Now Minshew on first and 10. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Here's second and 10. They'll go play action here with Minshew. A gain of 32 that time. It's early, but announcer cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games, too? Ah, oh, what the heck. In this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on, because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Minshew sets to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Second and 10. They will run for the first time here with White. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. The Chargers trot out their dime package, expecting a throw on third down. Here's Minshew. That one's complete out to Michael Mayer. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further, as they get him down well short of the line to gain. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. The Las Vegas sending out their punter now. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. 
See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Back to throw here, Herbert. Throw left side, caught by the tight end, Hurst. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Right back to Spiller on second down. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Try and run for the first with Edwards. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. They'll try the air now with Herbert. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 45-yard line. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage.
Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Straight ahead at Spiller. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. So first and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Herbert. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. First down is Minshew. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. It's Khalil Mack that time shooting in there to get him to the ground. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now a give up the middle. This is White. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. They stay on the ground with White. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the 10. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Here's the Raiders punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. L.A. readies for its next possession. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. 
It's a gain of 34. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Raiders, the big fella. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. Big boy, earning his lunch. That's what you call rumbling with the ball, Charles. Big man with football. He wasn't just earning lunch, Brandon. He was <laughs> earning dinner. He was... <laughs> Midnight snack. <laughs> Everything that you could possibly do, he did it on that play to pick up the ball and go. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that makes it 7-zip Vegas. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and six, just inside the 30. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Herbert now. Setting up the screen. Here's Spiller. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to pull them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 
They run behind center with Spiller. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? From the 41, here's a second down and four. Right back to Spiller on second down. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one a first down pickup of eight. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. From the gun, they go to Edwards. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second down and six now. Now it's Herbert. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 38-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a handoff, Edwards. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal... Shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Here's Edwards again on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That one a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. First and ten is Spiller. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Malcolm Kuntz there on the tackle. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Now is second and ten. Single, single. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Ten 
Third and five. A delayed give to Spiller. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there. Fourth and three. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left hash, this from 37. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. Now a throw caught by one of their linemen. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two as they go to work on a first and goal. the mark too far out in front down this close to the goal line first down surprised that wasn't a run I am and you know I'm old school I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it they'll go again from the three here on second and goal Edwards Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. This Raider defense not giving in. They'll try to hold once more on third and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. Let's give credit to the defense. they got plenty of bodies to the point of attack and stuff the run. But I just wonder if the offensive line let down a little bit, knowing that the big guy was getting the ball, and they just expected him to pick up a first. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Ben Mason punching it in from a yard away. And the Chargers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And Charles, maybe that's one they had dialed up. Hey, if we're in a fourth and goal situation, we're going to our muscle. And you can feel the boom, boom, boom all the way up here where we sit. The earth was shaking, and he found his way into the end zone. Yeah, but that's such a, a great guy to have around the goal line, isn't it? Indeed it is. It's a great extra dimension to add to your offense. When you can finish things with power, that's hard for a defense to deal with. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And we are tied at seven. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Let's go, let's get 
The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Start on the ground with Madison and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And from the 34, here's second and four. White, he'll try the left side. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Off play action, it's Minshew. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. Well, it's always easy to second guess a call, but maybe he should have just handed it off here on third and short instead of keeping it on a play action pass attempt. Now it's fourth and long and just gave the defense a lot of momentum to build on for the next series. Las Vegas sending out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Herbert setting up to throw on first down, and it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. The Chargers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it'll be fourth down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. The results for them so far not that great. Well... Not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. 
trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? The drive starts with a run by White. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Looking to throw it, Minshew. That's caught by Myers. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Give him 32 on the play. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Now Minshew. That would complete to Trey Tucker. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Here's Madison running on first down. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From the 31, here's a second and eight. White running to the left. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. They'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Tucker. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. Minshew, first and ten. Over the middle, complete. It's Adams. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second and five. Back to throw here. Caught by Mayer. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Whoa. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal.
White will score. Touchdown, yep. Raiders. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Carlson on for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was finished off with a touchdown run by Zamir White. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Start the drive. Herbert. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Complete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. Max Crosby able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. The Chargers on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and 15. Operating from the gun, Herbert. And this is gonna be incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. And here's Zamir White returning to the field. It's a second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series so those surface tablets come into play. <laughs> Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. 
I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They'll drop to throw. The pass taken in by Mayer. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Third on, catch now. of this first Let's half for him, and this one is a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. fake here on first down and that is caught on the right sideline but out of bounds says the line judge the throw took him a little too far at second down well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver but they just couldn't connect and that will send him back to the drawing board so after the incompletion on first now second and ten Again, Minshew looking to throw. And he finds Mayer here. And he's going to get this down inside the five before he's out of bounds. It's a big play there for Vegas. 48 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll look to throw again. Open, and it's Mayer in the end zone for the Raiders' touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass, and the Raiders have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, that's just how they drew it up, C.D. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. The extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now 21-7. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was finished off by a Michael Mayer touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this fielded right at the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Herbert on first down now. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. 
Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. On the handoff, Edwards, and he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Again, it's Edwards. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking to throw. Herbert working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 44-yard line. Back to throw. Herbert throwing middle, and it's complete. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down and a yard. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. He gets it to Johnston. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 24-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Second and short. That's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Again, Herbert. He's got another one to Johnston. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Push him back. Push him back to throw again and that'll be off the mark too far out in front and it's incomplete I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far even backed up late they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down and this offense on third down today they've converted five times in their many chances thus far they need just a yard here it's third and one they're able to find the open man that's complete and the Chargers are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've got their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw. A nice work after the throw, and they're set up now with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Edwards. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Gus Edwards taking it in from a yard out. And the Chargers are back within a score. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. 
Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Dicker down to tack on the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. A 10-play drive that time. And it was polished off by the Gus Edwards touchdown run. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And the returner, Trey Tucker, going to bring this one out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So out come the Raiders. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking... My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Here's Tucker complete on the right side. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On second down, they'll run with White. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. to throw now on first down. Tucker hauls it in over the middle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now a quick slant as the throw is complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 36. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Minshew sets to throw. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Minshew. And that's complete to Adams. 
Devontae Adams. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders are able to add on to that lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Carlson now to add the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. So the drive there took six plays. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. First down, it's Herbert. Looking left side, he's got it complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Now Herbert got to get him to the line in a hurry. To throw again on second down. Herbert, that ball caught, it's Rice. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First and ten, Herbert. Open man right side is Rice. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Here's Herbert. And the Raiders have got him. That's Crosby. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, 
unsuccessfully. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Raiders out in front. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first Here half. Here we go. Here we go. Now Minshew on first and ten. Oh, and that is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They'll go up the middle with White. And not much there. Maybe a yard up in the 24. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They'll come up now third and nine. They'll drop the throw. The throw left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Good clean play, no flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Here's the Raiders punter now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Davis now to return it. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now a look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. 
And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. A handoff to Spiller to begin the drive to about the 40-yard line. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Second and six. Motion man right is Rice. On second down, it's Edwards. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They run behind center with Spiller, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. Now a second and six. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Early down stuffs have put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That is caught. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Oh, none of that. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. Well, my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things not deep downfield that can hurt your defense. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, They've got to pay it off with some points. Second and six with the ball on the seven. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Here's Edwards again on second down. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, OK, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. And he is going to go down back at the 11-yard line. 
taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left hash, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is indeed good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Let's go, man. Play football. Let's go. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit and probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Try to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. They start to drive with White. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 46 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Jacoby Myers. And finally brought down at the 38. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. He'll look to throw. Fights through him. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball. And they keep making the connection. Second down and three. Off play action, it's Minshew. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. They were maybe hoping for a little bit of a back shoulder fade there, and that's a play that's been in vogue the last few years in all aspects of football. But they couldn't get the hook up there. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out.
Throwing on first down is Minshew. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They'll set up to throw. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in a game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Looking to throw it, Minshew. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So they're coming up here on the ninth play of the drive, and it's third and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Touchdown, Raiders! Alexander Madison, a nine-yard touchdown grab. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. We've well, got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Lion, lion, so lion. following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Herbert. And he comes back with one complete. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Back to throw here, Herbert. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's J.K. Scott now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today.
A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Minshew, first and 10. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Minshew. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Khalil Mack able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game in the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. A tough spot here, third and 15. Back to throw. It's caught here by Adams. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to make it fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop him well short. Las Vegas sending out their punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Buying time to his left, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Herbert off of play action. He'll throw complete to Gus Edwards. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good. Solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and 10. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Finds Spiller on the check down. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 
They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Time to go to work. Call Let's go. Awesome four there on the sack, and speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for L.A. He'll get off a fairly short kick here, as this is toward the sideline. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. And now here come the Raiders. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 64 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Defensively, they were in the 3-4. Solid run up the middle. What made it successful? Well, what you have to do is control the nose guard, but sometimes you don't do it by blocking him. You do it by influencing him. Get him moving to one side or the other and hit him back on the opposite. They go right back to White here on first down. Stays on his feet. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's the Raiders with the lead and the football here as we get ready to start quarter number four. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They stay on the ground with White. And he's going to build his way forward to the 48. Tackle made there by the safety, Derwin James. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. They run straight ahead here with White. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. That gives him 98 yards in this game. And he's got to feel pretty good about that. But the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brent, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now. And here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football. And that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, 
But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. So first and 10 now from the 30. On a handoff, it's White. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Second down and six now from the 26. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 20-yard line. 108 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On third down, a run from White. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. On the give, it's White. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to, says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Ball on the eight, it's second and four. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And he's gonna go down. Sack back at the 13-yard line. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. Well, it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back, but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. Now back to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Bowers. And they will get to him at the seven and stop him short of the first down marker. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. 
So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow, talk about trying to add insult to injury. Some teams are just like that. You know, some philosophies, some coaches are like, look, when I got a chance to put some more points on the board, I don't care what the situation, I'm going to do it. And they're also the same coaches as a general rule that if someone does it to them, you won't hear a peep of protest out of them. That's just who they are. Herbert on first down now. Complete to Johnston here. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Out of the gun, Herbert. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second down and four. Here's Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. On the out route, he finds Johnston. And wrangled down quickly just past the 40 at the 41. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Herbert on third down now. Be a little bit of frustration there. Back to back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And they snap it to Herbert. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as he'll wind up getting close to 10 yards there, and they only needed one on fourth and one. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. From the 50, here's Herbert. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's second and ten. Herbert now. Being chased out. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Max Crosby, my goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailing by multiple touchdowns and a late sack, just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him.
Now third down and very long. Looking to throw. Herbert. Under pressure, they got him again. Malcolm Koontz. He's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this, and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is, oh, my goodness. He pulled it in one-handed. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. A great effort there. 66 yards. And the Chargers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. When you're trailing in the fourth quarter, you got to take some chances you might not normally take. And here, that one pays off big time. And you have to think to yourself, not only did that pay off big time for them, but what was going on on the opposite side of the ball? They know that they have to take a chance here. They know they have to come up with something big. Yet it still happens. So credit the execution, but wonder what the defense was doing. The extra point try now from Dicker. And that one makes this an 11 point deficit now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. First down, here's White. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. 128 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down. Have to stop them. Have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. They're going to snuff this play on, out behind the line. line. We have not seen that much today. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. This offense so far on third down, they've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and five. Minshew sets to throw, and that is incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football forces the incompletion.
So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that will extend their lead even further. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game. But to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. On first down, Justin Herbert throw over the middle, and it's caught by Johnston. And they're able to get this one across the yeah, 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. <laughs> On first down, it's Herbert. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's a second and seven. Back to throw. Herbert. He's got it. It's Spiller. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 39. If your sympathies lie with the defense, you understand how tough it is for linebackers to run with a guy like this. He's going to slip out of the backfield and then work in the middle of the field. And sometimes those defenders get preoccupied with other people moving, and he finds open space and makes a nice play. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. <laughs> And the Raiders are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Right now, right now. He 
Here now, third and a yard. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And he's going to have a Rainer first down. And that should be the one that finishes the script here. They take a knee. for the Las Vegas Raiders. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams, right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gawden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Southern California.